Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to let the cameras roll so you can see what Pete and Kevin are up to. Obviously they're installing the V12 back in the race car. We're just going to let everything play out so you can hear the conversations and see the sink fire back up after it's been stored for several months. We hope you enjoy the segment. But it's just an opportunity for you to see what's going on as they prepare for the 2024 race season. Thank you. Is the alternator hanging up again? No, it's right here. Just on the pin, I off, I have the whole thing. Pull the funnel the board. We'll go. Here, let me just go off. Set the back of the pin. There it is. Nice. Perfect. All right. There's no water in it, right? Well, a little bit of water. Let's see if it fires. Yeah. Oh, everything clear of the belt? Yeah. All clear? Mm hmm. Oh, is that battery on? Probably not. Nope. hooks up through that tack wire because you this tack wire even when we have the three liter in it doesn't have anything going to it but it says tack it comes off the computer but i don't know i don't think it connects directly to that all the tack should be off of this right the tack is displaying it would be interesting to see if you can read the tack on your laptop Looks like at the end of the day. 
<laughs> B and Pete. They're both sitting down at the end of the P &B. day. BP. P and B. A lot of plumbing and shit on this thing, you know that? That's good plumbing and good crap. Can you imagine how much a headache it would be if you had to sink 12 carburetors? See what we get. Water pump. It's not running when you're hooked up to it. Why? I don't know. What is this? Fired. Doesn't, something doesn't sound right. It smell right. See if it runs better when you're unplugged. But this one, when you were rev, it was still water wasn't even burning off of that when you were revving it up. So that one doesn't have anything. Computer, but not on this. Yeah. And did you notice this thing? This thing sucks down. When I rushed it up, this thing sucks down. Oh tight. hell yeah, it's choking itself. Yeah. That thing is wicked sounding. So yeah, when the computer hooked up, it wouldn't like it wouldn't take the throttle and stuff. That is so bizarre. So we got to make sure that that pin isn't related to that. This is hot now. This one's not. Oh, that one's not. That this one. one's not. It's hotter. See, it's hot. It's. I mean, it's. It's not running all the time. It's running, but when you open it up, this one. It's still hot. I mean, it wouldn't get that hot if it wasn't running at all. Yeah. Okay. Um. Weird. Yeah, because it doesn't like the computer. Why? And then it has. I'm still curious it about... It kept losing the signal to the computer, too. And it did that on the dyno, too. When you plugged it into the computer, a bunch of other lights lit up on the side of the computer that yeah, never lit up before. Yeah, I know. It does that. Because so it... Because you can program... This one here, you can program without having to turn on the computer or turn on the car. I can load or down... or the program without having the engine turned on yeah or the ignition turned on but so yeah you had all these lights lighting up here which we normally don't the little yeah. diag and stuff but 
I'm wondering if that's why you cut out on the dyno that time. Because I noticed a lot of times I have this thing hooked up to the this engine. Yeah. And all of a sudden it loses data in the middle of the run. Whereas I never had that problem with the PE3. Yeah. The only thing that I'm. Well, that's going to be it for this evening, folks. We hope you enjoyed this little informative video showing how Pete and Kevin are getting the vehicle ready for the 2024 race season. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and we hope to have some more content posted soon. Thank you very much. It is a pretty, it looks kind of like, kind of reminds me of like a valve body on a transmission. Kind of looks like that. Well, this is just what it takes.